Hi everyone, you are welcome back to today's class. My name is Abdul Hakim. So today we are going to look at Introduction to Spreadsheet Modeling. This is Excel Modeling per se. So I'm going to look at how we model Excel, how to how to use a formula, how to manipulate your formula in Excel. Now let's look at this question. Assuming you are given the hours work this week and hourly salary for several employees, you want to determine the amount paid to each of the employee. You want to calculate the total hours work and the average hourly rate. Okay, to calculate the amount paid to each employee, here we have the employees, we have Alessio Ye, Chiroma, David, etc. We have the hours work. Here, yeah, that is hours, is hours, and this is the wage per hour. So how do we calculate the hourly work? We use equals to this multiply by this. So you multiply. Then what next? Now you copy. You have Control C. You come down. Select Shift. Arrow down. And you press Ctrl V. You know what happened here? You see that the first cell here you have V8 multiplied by C8. When you come here, sorry. when you come to this place, you have B9 to C9. Likewise, here you have B10 to C10. This is called relative reference in Excel. This is called relative rex reference in Excel. Now, so, you see that we have the weekly work. Then, the other one, the last question is, we want to put the total hours worked. Okay, we have to that here, equals to sum. Remember, if in the first class, we explained how to use sum formula, auto sum, and the rest and uh, out equals to so this place select this range and you close the bracket click enter so you have the number of hours work in that particular week then we have the last question average hourly work the average I want to know the average of the hourly work for each person, then come here equals to have average and you select yes. Close the bracket. That is it. So to format this, I can just copy the formula here. FP and go to this place. Paste. So we change the dollar sign. To another sign that is uh, that the next thing we're going to look at is this question let's see we are given the cost that a baker paid each of six suppliers for sugar butter and flour you have the cost and you have the quantity calculate the amount paid to each supplier of sugar flour and butter also determine the total amount paid Okay, here we have the cost sugar. These are the suppliers or customers. Then we have the quantity of the product supplied. So now we want to calculate how much are we going to pay to each of them per whatever the supply. Ah, for sugar, we have equals to this is sugar the cost multiply by the um, the quantity of sugar purchased then we have click enter so we're going to pay 2320 for a jockey sugar so like i said earlier now i'm going to teach you a shortcut here now so from this cell we will not copy and paste this time around we're going to do is hold the shift key then arrow down then you press ctrl d 
that is copy down so instead of the copy and paste use ctrl d then hold your shift also when you hold your shift you use the arrow to the right side then click ctrl r that is copy to the right side so you see that you have all your formulas included so you will see that just like we did in the first sheet this is called relative reference you see that the first column the first and uh, the first cells here the first cells under the cost go to the first cells here then the last you see here you have the last to the last also the middle to the middle that is called relative reference so instead of calculating it one by one you just reference that single cell and excel we do the remaining job then we are told to calculate the total amount paid to each of them so we have we're going to pay some we open the bracket here then you select this enter so i'm going to pay a month 72,972 to a joker then you copy down the formula the same way you're going to pay to the other person ctrl d copy down so you're going to pay each of them this amount of money also this you want to calculate amount spent on each of the products how much you pay on sugar you remember the shortcut that we used we taught yesterday alt equals to so the total amount paid on sugar now is 2000 so the same thing goes for other ones then hold your shift key arrow to the right side and we have control half the copy of formula to the right side so we want to know the total amount paid now you see that with this highlight if you look here we see that the amount total amount paid is 524.974 also if you hold this you see the total you have to sum you have to count six items the average amount of this is a sum so let's use equals to to sum this Art equals to so the total amount paid now here is five hundred four thousand nine seven four. I hope you understand it. So the next thing I'm going to look at is this question. Here we have the same question, but in this case we have the we assume that each supplier charge the same price for all products so there's no difference between the price of a jacket and the price of uh, alan or any other person now let's use the formula equals to this multiply by this so multiply by this so we copy the formula down is an error because it keeps changing from one cell to the other but if you copy it to the right side because we have the value there control D control R that because we have the value there you see that it's okay but when you copy it down also you're going to get the same error now what do we do we're going to use what is called reference absolute reference absolute and mixed reference What's an absolute reference? This I will advise you to watch my video on referencing in Excel. That will help you to understand this class very well. Okay, let's look at what we are going to do. Now, in this case, we have C10 multiplied C7. But we want, we want, what we want now is we don't want this um, two to change. So we're going to say, okay, let's put dollar sign out of c and seven we have function click function f4 some laptop 
just F4 is okay, you get it. Get it. Okay. Copy this down. So that is it. You see that everything is pointing to the two. While C is changing, C that we have C10 change to C11, C12, C13. You see that C7 did not change because of the reference that we used there. Then copy it to this side. You see that it has not changed since it refused to change from that place. Well, what are we to do? What do we now do to make sure that we're going to enter the formula? Several times. I'm going to do this. We're going to use what is called relative um, mixed reference. So, what is mixed reference? That's the situation whereby we either fix either column or row. We will not fix two of them. We're going to put dollar sign in front of either column or row. How do we know where we put dollar sign? Now, here we have C7. You see that the prices we want, we have some price in column C. We have some in D, we have some in A, but everything is in 7. In that case, we don't want the cell to change from 7, but you can change from C to D to E and H. So that means, in this case now, we are going to fix only the row. So let's go back to our formula, come back to where we have this, press function F4 again for the second time. So you see that it has changed from the last C, the last seven to C, the last seven. Press the game function F4. You see that it changed to the last C seven. So function F4 again. You can see it takes away. So what we want to do is we want to fix seven and leave this the column open. We have F this. So which is this, right? So from here now, I copy this formula to everywhere and. Uh, you are good to go. Control R, copy to right, and uh, come down. We have Control D. So, with this, we have all our formulas correct. You can see. Everything here is pointing to butter, while the other one is uh, pointing to where it's supposed to point to. Do you see? Do you see? So that's good. Now use the tutor. Let's put our tutor now. We have this but equals to very fast. Also we have other ones. As a copy down. We have here, let's use equals to also here. Alt. Equals to that equals to and copy to the right. Control R. So here we have total amount paid now is 458. Either you sum through the column or you sum through the row. We're going to get the same value. So I'm going to stop here today. I'm going to send the workbook to you. So you practice the broad mass, the exam average, and the BMI. I wish you a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, can you remember to subscribe to the channel and click like on the 